From here on the decks of the USS Constitution, I'd like to send from the United States Navy our thanks and appreciation to the city of Boston and the state of Massachusetts for hosting us during this commemoration week of the War of 1812, and particularly tomorrow on the 4th of July, the nation's birthday. Boston is a Navy town, and its maritime heritage dates back to the colonial era. In the waters off Boston and New England, the U.S. Navy came of age during the War of 1812. And we commemorate this week that fighting spirit, the boldness of leadership, the innovation, and the craftsmanship of our ships, like the Constitution, that came of age during that conflict. America's Navy today represents the United States around the globe. We're standing watch in the reaches of the Western Pacific, in the Middle East, as nearly 50 percent or 140 ships of our Navy stand watch and are underway uh, around the world this evening as we stand here on the decks of the Constitution. Uh, we're extraordinarily proud of the sailors. We are America's away team and as we say America's Navy is a global force for good providing assurance to our allies, deterring aggression and assuring that the trade that we rely upon and the freedom of the seas is continued uh, into this new age of American sea power and leadership at sea. It's important to realize that over 70 percent of the world's of the earth is covered with water, that 80 percent of the world's population lives within 200 miles of a coastline, and over 90 percent of our trade arrives from sea to support our economy. The great Navy and the support of the American people um, ensures that this trade and this freedom of the seas continues to this very day. And I'd just like to take a minute to thank all those sailors uh, who are serving watch around the country, their families who support them, and the people of Boston and New England who've opened their arms to us this week and welcomed us as we celebrate our heritage and the birthday of our nation. Thank you very much.